people and today's video is a Halloween special video. So guys, Halloween has brought many, many changes in our surroundings. For example, the normal pumpkin has changed into a Halloween special pumpkin. The normal birthday decorations have now turned into skulls and crossbones decorations. And the normal pranks have turned into spooky pranks. So guys, I thought why not bring in some monsters and add the meanings from our dictionary. So guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Guys, before we start the video, I just wanted for you to know that the purpose of this video is not to talk about monsters and stuff. The purpose of this video is to increase your vocabulary. So guys, let's get into it. The first is Cowl. Cowl are flesh-eating monsters who are said to raise according to the folklore. Apart from that, Cowls are not only used for the real monster cows, cows are also used for a person who is morbidly interested in death and disaster or a person who is strangely diabolical. So guys, there's another adjective related to this word which is cowlish. For example, my dog got cowlish when he saw the cat. So guys, the second word is Banshee! Scary name isn't it? But tell you what, Banshees are wailing female ghosts who are said to appear when somebody dies or to tell a family member in advance that someone in their family is going to die. Banshee is a noun by the way and Banshee can also be used in certain sentences. For example, she, has, she smiled like a Banshee. Guys, I'm pretty sure most of you already know this one. Yeah, you guessed it right. It's Vampire. Vampire are very scary creatures, right? They are dead people who get alive at night and suck living people's blood. To tell you guys the truth, I saw this movie lately called Hotel Transylvania. There was this vampire in the movie who was scared of humans and the monsters was scared of humans. It's totally the opposite and it was a very funny movie. Guys, the next monster, I think, no, I know you're familiar with it. Zombie. Children are so fascinated by zombies. Guys, zombies basically mean that dead people who, who are brought back alive without the ability to speak or move easily. Guys, to tell you the truth, I watched this web series on Netflix which is The Last Kids on Earth. Watch book 1, it's all about monsters and zombies. And guys, God know, maybe I'll come back with a review on Last Kids on Earth written by Max Brailer. Next is... Poltergeist. Poltergeist is just a ghost but a type of a noisy ghost I would say who creates physical disturbances like peas in Harry Potter and we all know how peas always get into the nerves of Argus Filch and Umbridge. So guys in all I would just say that Poltergeist is a noisy and naughty ghost. Next in my magical list is Centaur. Centaurs are mythical creatures with the torso of a man and the hoof and body of a horse. Centaurs are in many tales and in many books but for this video I'll give you the example of the Greek mythology if you read it. Next, Basilisk. Basilisk is a mythical reptile with lethal breath and gaze hatched by a serpent from a cock's egg. Guys, it's a very dangerous beast. And we saw in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets how Harry Potter bravely fought the basilisk with the help of the sword of Gryffindor. 
Guys, imagine how dangerous this beast is. It can kill the victim with a single stare in the eye. Next, from my magical list is Phantom. Guys, not too much saying about Phantom. Phantom is just another type of a ghost who haunts lonely streets. So guys, never go on a lonely street. And if you do, watch out for the Phantom. Just kidding guys. Next from my magical list is dun, 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 Werewolf. Werewolf is particularly a person who turns into a wolf on a full moon night guys there are so many movies based on werewolves which are twilight and if i want to go harry potter we have all seen lupin a werewolf starts attacking wildly and hunting down his prey he doesn't remember that was that man his friend or an enemy he starts wildly attacking like a wolf and i will just say it one more time okay the purpose of this video was not to promote these monsters and discuss all these monsters things. The purpose of this video was to increase your vocabulary and for you to know the meaning of these words according to different different dictionaries. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found this video informative. If you did smash that on our seance, bye! And the last message I wanted to give you guys is... Happy Halloween!